Hi foodies, how you doing? Let's get into this delicious stew beef. So what I have here guys is some beef shank. My butcher cut it up nicely for me. So the shank definitely works. I do want a little bit of fat and I want the bone in there as well. That's how we do stew beef in Jamaica. We don't you know do boneless beef very often we want the beef that has that bone to give the the stew that good flavor so what we're gonna do is just rub some olive oil into this meat and then we are going to season it so first i'm going in with a mixture of seasonings there's oxtail seasoning there is black pepper, salt, onion powder, among other things. I will leave the details in the description box. You can use regular beef seasoning too, but I have oxtail seasoning and I love it. So I'm using that here. We are going to add some crushed allspice berries, pimento grains, whatever you call them. They are so good. So crush those in there and mix everything. You want to massage the seasoning into the meat wear your gloves or use your clean hands it doesn't matter just be clean that's all that's important okay we're going in with some green seasoning now this is just one of those things that caribbean people use a lot it's a mixture of herbs and you know there's thyme there's scallion there's garlic onion it's really good the details are in the description box below and for those of you who are familiar with pesto this won't make your food green okay it's not like pesto where the finished dish is going to be green this is going to just soak into that meat and give it a nice flavor and then some browning we often use this in jamaica just to give the meat a deeper you know richer color you can you know go without it there's other ways to get that nice brown color but i'm just showing it to you I will use a few drops. You don't want to be heavy handed with this, guys. It can be bitter. So what we'll do is just let this marinate for 24 hours or overnight and then the next day I'm just gonna get my Dutch pot I have some oil in there and I'm gonna add some brown sugar this is one of the other steps that a lot of Caribbean people take to get the meat nice and brown what we do is we make a caramel in the pot and then add the meat while the sugar caramelizes it just helps to give the meat that nice rich dark dark uh, deep color that we like so don't let it get black once you get that deep brown then you're gonna be adding your meat so you can either do browning from the bottle or you can do this step sometimes I do a little bit of both so what we're doing now is searing the meat on all sides if you have a lot of beef and a small pot just brown this batch and then take them out and brown the rest don't pack the pot too much because they won't brown properly if you do that so just brown them allow them to sit and brown you want to get it looking something like this and then flip them over on all sides to get that nice sear I do my stew beef very similar to how I do oxtail all right so you might see you know some of the browning or the caramel on the bottom of the pot don't worry if you feel like your pot is like super burnt you can always wash out the pot but if you just see a little bit of the browning sticking to the pot don't be too concerned okay remember the browning is very dark and we're gonna add some liquid to the pot later so it's gonna lift all of the seasoning that's stuck to the bottom of the pot right now if it's excessively burnt then yes go ahead and wash out the pot now if you're like a lot of my friends and family in jamaica and you know the price of gas very high you don't want to be slow cooking anything on the stove for very long so you can use your pressure cooker you know you have a choice either pressure cooker electric slow cooker or you can slow cook it on the stove i'm going to be using my pressure cooker so just add the water and then just enough to cover it and then I'm going to pressure cook this until it's tender 
not mashed out just tender okay while my pressure cooker is going i just have some carrot and onions here and a, there's a little oil in the same pot i didn't bother to wash it out and i added some bell peppers as well okay so just saute that for like a minute and then just let it sit we're gonna wait until the beef is tender and then we're gonna be adding it to this same pot so once the beef has been pressure cooked or slow cooked then we add it back to the dutch pot on the stove with those veggies i always finish my stew on the stove guys i i just don't after it's slow cooked or it's pressure cooked i just you know i prefer to simmer down that gravy in that dutch pot on the stove it just makes it easier to control and it's just so much better so what we're gonna do is just allow this to simmer over low to medium heat till the beef is now perfectly tender because it's not all the way tender right now so perfectly tender and then it's going to absorb the flavor from all of these other ingredients that we're going to be adding Now this is why you don't want to add excessive salt when you're seasoning the beef because when you go in now with the soy sauce that's another addition of salt so you have to be careful all right so stir all of this together of course if you don't want to use ketchup you can always use some uh, tomatoes some really nice ripe tomatoes if that's what you prefer but i like the ketchup because it has a little sweet it has a little cornstarch to help thicken the gravy too so you know we'll add that and then a whole scotch bonnet if you want the beef stew to be spicy then you can always cut it up and i'm adding some scallion and fresh thyme okay we're just gonna allow this to simmer down So after you've covered it and you simmer this down, you check on the beef, it's nice and tender. You know, sometimes the gravy might still be, you know, what we Jamaicans say, gravy long, the water long, right? We need it to thicken up a little bit. So I like to add a little bit of slurry. This is cornstarch and water mixed together. Just add a little at a time. Just add what you need. If you're using beans or potatoes in this, you might not need the slurry because those things will thicken up the stew for you. So it is optional. Okay, so just stir that in and then simmer low heat for a few minutes and once the gravy comes together you are good to go so guys a lot of the liquid evaporated from my stew much more than i wanted to so all you have to do if that happens to you to fix it just add a little water and then slurry as needed and just let it continue to simmer down till you're good So guys this is after i've simmered the stew a little bit with that slurry because we want to cook out that starch flavor right this is perfectly fine i did take out quite a bit and started eating it so this is my delicious stew beef it's very similar to how i cook oxtail guys and it's very easy it's nice and rich and the bones have added so much flavor to the stew guys it is so delicious this is good with some potato or some rice i had it with rice and peas look at that tenderness so give it a try guys and let me know what you think let me know if you found the recipe easy and delicious i appreciate you guys for watching thank you so so much and don't forget to leave me a like comment share and subscribe see you next time